Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we will look at how to properly package up and send seeds to different parts of the world. So stick around. Okay guys, so this video is going to be very simple, very, very easy. You really don't need a lot of you know, stuff to actually do this. So first off, the first thing you're going to need is obviously a plant which has seeds. We do have videos on how to harvest um, the Drosera seeds. So if you want to check them out, just look back in the channel a little bit. You'll be able to find them. It's super, super easy, especially if it's something like a Drosera capensis. Other than that, you know, you just need an envelope. You need some wax paper, scissors, a pen, and a little bit of bubble wrap. But that's really it. That's all that you really need. It's very, very easy. Oh, and, and some tape. That's quite important too. That's all you need really to, you know, obviously package up your seeds safely and then send them across the whole world to you guys. And the whole reason why I'm doing this video is simply because we have done a seed giveaway for reaching 1,000 subscribers. Obviously, we reached that goal about a week ago. The contest ran from when that Wednesday to obviously the 17th of June, Wednesday. And today is Tuesday. So obviously we will be announcing the seed winner tomorrow, but you guys won't actually see this video or that video until two days later, because obviously I have like a backlog of videos. And then also I will, be, I will be reaching out to those winners tomorrow when I do draw the names. So as I said, it'll be from Wednesday to Wednesday. And yeah, this is essentially how your seeds will come to you. You guys will see how I prepare them, how I, you know obviously make the seeds. And then the winners will obviously get these exact same packets of seeds. So yeah, it's a super easy video and let's do it real quick. Okay guys, so here is all the stuff that you need. As I said, it's literally just some, you know, some paper. If you don't have paper, uh, or, I mean, if you don't have wax paper, just normal paper is fine, but we'll be using the wax paper. And obviously a marker, scissors, an envelope, and some bubble wrap is really it's very, very simple and very, very easy and I'll explain all the different steps to you guys. So I just want to let you guys know once again that at the end of the video, we will be spraying our Drosophilum seeds. So make sure that you stay around for that because we are spraying them every single day and we will be doing updates on them every single day, obviously, so you guys can see when they start germinating. When they start germinating, it will be really, really great, you know, because you guys will have been there in every single video watching me spraying them and then obviously they start growing with us. So the way that you do it, is that when you harvest the seeds, you shouldn't have them in a plastic bag. I had to put them in a plastic bag because when you come into Australia, they have all these quarantine measures and yeah, it becomes, it's quite difficult to, you know, obviously bring seeds in. It has to be clear see-through so they can see into it, but enough of that. What you want to do is that you'll have your seeds in hopefully a, a paper so they can breathe and all that stuff. And you want to get a big normal size paper just like this, a paper on top of it, like this one underneath, and then your wax paper on top of that or any other paper that you would want to put your seeds into. So wax paper is oftentimes recommended simply because it holds the seeds better and it's waxy. Actually, I don't really know why, i just forgotten, but it, it's, it's better paper to use for your seeds because it, it is healthier for your seeds. And then what you want to do is that you want to fold this one, your paper that you're going to eventually have, in half. So that you have a crease in the middle and then you want to eventually have it folded up into a specific you know shape to obviously contain the seeds so this is when you should do that shape so what i like to do is i like to fold it in half and then fold it in two quarters and then crease it at the top and then i put the seeds in and then i fold it over the top and at that other end again so let me just put on time lapse and you'll see exactly what i mean So there you guys can see, obviously I folded it into quarters and then from quarters I folded the two ends into obviously one eighth of the full length and the same with the width of the paper in half and then into a quarter and the top will fold over just like a little lid. And you guys will see why I do it like this at the end of the video. There are obviously many different ways that you guys can do it. Whatever you're happy with, you can do it. Some people have a technique where they fold the paper in half and then they make it into like a triangle, then they fold the you know different folds into each other. So you don't have to use any sticky tape. But yeah, I, I essentially created this method for quarantine here in Australia 
because then you can easily see the seeds through the top. But of course, I just settled on using pay, um, these pay, plastic bags like this. It makes it much easier for the people at Biosecurity. So once you have your paper like this, you want to open it up, but keep this folded at the end. And what this, you know, folded bit at the end acts as is a barrier so the seeds don't fall all the way through. So you just hold it like that. And I like to just kind of bend it like this so that it's quite wide here at the opening. You know, kind of like a, a broom, what, what do they call those? Um, those rubbish scoop things with the broom. You just, you know, obviously just put your rubbish in there and you throw it in the bin. Looks just like one. And it's very, very simple. Then this is when you would take your seeds that you would have in a, hopefully a paper, because it makes it much easier to do the rest of this. And you would just pour it into that. Now you guys can obviously see the reason why we have two papers underneath. And that reason is because when the seeds fall out, which oftentimes they do, you have it on the paper. And then you can take this paper and just put it right back in there. Just like that. And then of course you have the other paper at the bottom, just in case there are any other seeds that just managed to escape that, like this guy here. And you just put it right into this pack like that. But of course, as I said, we are gonna be dividing this up half-half and there are more seeds inside of this one than there are still remaining inside of this packet. So I will just pour a little bit out. Yeah, that looks about fair for the competition. So this is obviously one person's seed set and this is the other person's. And then we will obviously have these going out to two different people, so. Yeah, it looks pretty fair. What do you guys think? So a lot of seeds, you guys are getting a lot of seeds. You're gonna have like an infinite amount of capensis after this. Oh damn. And this is why it's so important to have the double paper. And yeah, another good thing about having the wax is that it really helps for you to move the seeds because if it's on normal paper, the seeds have ridges and stuff and it gets in the paper. With the wax paper, if you just lightly flick it like this, they move. So it makes it much easier. Anyway, I'll put this guy right here. So there we go, I'll just put these guys up here to the side. These guys, obviously, it's very difficult for, th for them all to come out because it is plastic and there's a reason why I don't recommend plastic. So yeah, all you can really do is just flick it and then just hope that they come out or, you know, fall back down. We now have our two, you know, seed sets available and ready for us. So all that you want to do now is that you take your folded bit, your little scoop, and you just straighten it out. Very easy, just like that. You tap it, make sure that there's no seeds along on the inside of the crease. And you very easily just fold that crease over because obviously, as I said, you've pre-creased it, so it makes it super easy. Fold it over at the top, as you've done already before. And you just want to use your nail and really push down on those edges so you can get them all really good. Obviously the seeds won't be near the creases because you ensured that they are not. By keeping the one side bent, they can't get all the way through. And by making sure that there's no seeds on the other side of the crease, obviously you can press with a lot of pressure, you won't damage anything. So here you can see there's a lot of seeds in there and they're not really moving that much. So we give them a good shake. And this is perfect for, you know, obviously transporting them. And whoever gets this pack, well, these two packs is gonna have a lot of seeds, so enjoy that, guys. This is the part where you get some tape. What I like to do is I just put the tape right here at the back of it, keeping it down. So there we go. Now, the tape is on the back. The tape is covering all three of the different edges. And now the seeds are not gonna fall out because it is obviously tightly packed. The seeds will not slip out of that. You know, you can shake it as much as you want, the seeds are never gonna come out because it is obviously folded really tightly and you've creased it down and you've ensured that it stays flatly pressed by using your tape to keep it, you know, obviously in the position. And now, when you look at the front, you can see your seeds everywhere. The biosecurity people, they can see that it's nice and clean seeds, they put it underneath the light. And of course, you know, you have some great, great seeds here. So, right after that, Oh, not yet, sorry, that's a mistake. You get one of these little plastic bags. You don't have to use the plastic bags, but I do recommend it. You could just fold this guy up inside of your bubble wrap already and then put it inside your envelope, but 
I like to put inside a plastic bag. Make sure it's accurately labeled. Just like that. Draw some capensis bar red and just easily slide that right in there. And now, even if in the off chance that any seed does manage to get out of this packet, we have an extra level of security in the plastic bag. Make sure this thing's dry. And then I just like to also press down on it to make sure there's no air in it. And I just roll my hand over and close up the bag. So that it's like a, you know, kind of like a vacuum seal, if you get what I mean. And there we go, guys. That's one done. Just like that. Now this is when you get your bubble wrap. And you have the bubbles facing outwards, or you can have them inwards, really. Doesn't matter too much, but it kind of serves the same purpose. I guess we'll just have them on the inside just for fun. You want to you want to have your tape ready. You want to be more prepared than what I currently am. And yeah, actually, I do recommend you have the bubbles on the inside, so when you put the tape on, you have the flat of the bubble wrap on the outside, so you can easily put your um, tape on it, so it sticks nicely. So. Yeah, obviously when this guy goes through those rolling machines that they have at the mail sorting places, the seeds won't get crushed because those things are round rolling things and it will squeeze the life out of your plants. And then very simply, you put this inside of the envelope, seal it off at the back, write the address on the front, and that's literally it. So let's do it again for this guy. And there we go guys, we have completed our two packs of seeds going out to two of you guys, our winners of the seed giveaway. And we will be drawing those winners obviously tomorrow, which is Wednesday. But as I said, you guys won't know about me making these seeds and everything until what, Friday or Saturday. So yeah, I really hope that you guys enjoyed and thank you guys. Thank you to everyone who participated in the giveaway. I really hope that you guys enjoy these seeds. Okay guys, so I actually forgot to mention how you should open up that seed pack. Obviously on the back of it, there is that tape that I've put there or that sticky tape, whatever you may call it. And I put it there obviously to keep it nice and flat so that those edges don't get loose so the seeds don't you know, slide out. So the very, it's very easy to actually open it up. You just get your scissors, you just slide it underneath the one flap and you literally just, just go like in a circle and it cuts it off. It's very, very easy, very, very simple or you can just pull it off, whatever you really want. So now let's go outside and spray our Drosophyllum seeds. Okay guys, so here's our seeds, and I can't wait for these guys to start growing. Obviously they'll take like two to four weeks before they actually start germinating, and it's only been like, what, three or four days or something? So yeah, I just, I really can't wait for these guys to start growing. And as I've said, if you guys want one of these spray bottles, you know, obviously one of our big ones as well, I do have links down below for all the different types of, you know, products that you do need to grow these plants. So yeah, if you guys are looking for something like that, do check out those links. Okay guys, and that is it for today's video. I hope that you found this a little bit helpful so you can also now send your seeds to friends and family and other people who may want seeds from you. And anyway, if you did find it a little bit helpful, please remember to leave a like. And if you have watched this whole video, please also consider subscribing to the channel because we release a video like this every single week. And I really think that you would enjoy the content. So I'll see you guys in tomorrow's episode.